as far as heel as Pilipinas head coach Yang Giao is concerned, the national team should strengthen its front line for the two remaining games in the sixth window of the FIBA World Cup qualifiers in February 2019. Giao shared yesterday his personal opinion, although the final say will still come from the coaches meeting next week to assess the composition of the national team for the last two games. That's just my personal opinion that we have to solidify the 4-5 positions," said Guayo Thursday. Even if we have Junmar, Greg, Japa and Christian, we're still small in those positions. Dot, but as I've said, we still have to decide because there are other options since we have Stanley Pringle as naturalized and then there's the possibility of having PBA import Justin Brownlee as naturalized," said Gao. Despite the presence of the Twin Towers in June Mar Fajardo and Greg Slaughter together with Japheth Aguilar against Kazakhstan, the Nationals absorbed a painful 92-88 beating. Filipino-German Christian Stan Hardinger played as naturalized against Iran to solidify the front line with Fajardo and Aguilar, but the Filipinos still lost 78-70, falling to 5-5 in the Group F standings. The loss imperiled the country's bid to make it to next year's World Cup in China. The national team will take on Qatar right on its home turf on February 21 and will host Kazakhstan afterwards on February 24 for the last two games of the sixth and last World Cup qualifiers. If plans to solidify the power forward and center positions push through, a strong candidate is naturalized player Andre Blatch, who was left out in the fifth window. The 6-foot-11 Blatch was already available for the Iran match after serving his three-game suspension handed by FIBA for his role in the fight Mar gamed with Australia last June. Blatch expressed his desire to return to the heel as Pilipinas roster and Gao reiterated that the former NBA player may be considered for the pool from where the final 12 will come for the two games. He can be part of it, but it's not a guarantee that he'll be in the final 12. He's not a shoe-in because we'll assess everything. The coaching staff will meet next week and this will be discussed," said Gao. The two games outside of the country are now must-win matches for the Filipinos to advance to the World Cup next year.